Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be very interesting because I have something really cool to show you all. It's a smart security camera. You guys might have seen a lot of security cameras till now but I bet you've never seen something like this before. This is a huge security camera from Digu. It's like the big daddy of all the other IP cameras. Yes guys I'm not joking you'll get to know about that once I unbox and show you the product. The model is Digu DGW30 and comes in this sort of box packing. And over here it says design for your decision. Must be their tagline. All right, let me show you the specs of this product. The Digu W30 has a 2 megapixel camera with a 6mm lens. It's got two infrared LEDs and four white LED lights. The maximum IR range is 30 meters. Supports SD cards up to 64 GB. Has an f2.2 lens with a field of view of 60 degrees, and the camera is also IP66 rated water resistant. So those are all of its specs. Now let me tell you all the features of this product. It's got some really nice features like it supports two-way intercom has IR night vision, also supports Wi-Fi, can shoot videos in full HD 1080p, has motion detection feature, built-in SD card support, auto alarm system and also loop recording. So those were some of its highlights. Now let's get started with the unboxing. Let me open the box and show you the product. I want to thank Digu for sending me this product for review. So on opening the box we've got the Digu smart security camera at the top. Let me just take it out and show you. So here it is guys. Oh my god. This thing is humongous! What the heck, it's so big! Seriously guys, I've never seen a security camera this big in size. It's a smart security camera with a lot of features which I'll tell you in this video. But before that, let me also show you the other stuff which we got in the box. You get a user manual, make sure to read that for all the info on the product. Along with that, you get a RJ45 Ethernet cable, a fixing stand for the camera, a power adapter and some installation screws. So those are all the items we got in the package. Now let me show you this jumbo security camera from Digu. So this is how the W30 looks like. It's a very big security camera and easily weighs around 500 grams. The build quality looks very nice. It's entirely made of high quality plastic and is also IP66 rated water resistant. You've got the Digu branding on both the sides. Looks like there's nothing at the top except a quarter inch thread under the screw and has two big antennas on both the left and right sides. These are fully adjustable as per your convenience. Now let me show you what's on the front side. You see this top panel guys, it acts as a hood for the lens. It's got a 2 megapixel f2.2 camera at the center that can shoot videos in 1080p resolution. Beside that it's got 4 white LED lights and 2 infrared LEDs for night vision. There's also an LDR sensor and a microphone on the front. Now let me show you what's on the bottom side. You've got a hidden compartment here, let me open it and show you. Oh, there's a rubber seal under that to prevent water from entering in it. So on the inside you've got a micro SD card slot and a reset button. That's it, there's nothing else over here. And below that you've got two quarter inch threads and also a built in speaker. I've already told you right, it supports two way intercom. So using this you can talk to the people in front of the camera. And we've got nothing at the back side except some product info and a cable which has a DC in port and an RJ45 Ethernet port. You just need to connect this camera to a power adapter and you're good to go. So that was our overview on the design and the build quality of the product. Now what I'll do is I'll power it on, pair it with my phone and show you all of its features. Alright guys, I'm back. I've powered on the camera and also gone through the setup process. The setup part was very easy. All you need to do was just connect the power adapter, install the recommended app on your phone and follow the on-screen instructions. And that's it, you'll be done with the setup in less than 5 minutes. You can either connect this camera to your home Wi-Fi or mobile hotspot or if you only have a wired connection, you can even connect an Ethernet cable to the camera. So once you successfully connect this camera to the internet, you can access it with your phone from anywhere in the world. That is pretty cool right? Now let me show you the app that you need to install on your phone to use this Digu security camera. The name of the app is called Joy Lite. It's available on both Play Store as well as App Store. So this is how the home screen on the app looks like. And as you can see we've got a live preview right over here. By clicking on it you can access a complete camera's interface. Ok let me show you what else do we have in the app. This is the gallery section. You can check out all the photos and videos recorded over here by the camera date wise in this tab. And in the last section we've got the app's general settings. Alright now let me show you the camera's interface and how the video quality looks like. So there you go as soon as you click on it you can check out the live video from the camera. And this is how the video quality looks on your phone. 
Not bad, we are right now in indoor lighting conditions and the video looks nice from my first impressions. The delay is also very less in the video transmission. Ok, we'll talk about the video quality later, first let me show you all of its features. At the top right corner you've got the settings button and beside that there's a full screen mode. So this is how the video quality looks in the full screen mode. The video looks sharp, there's good amount of detail and everything's clearly visible. It actually looks pretty good on the phone but we'll have to see how the actual recorded footage looks like. Coming to its features, this is a scene mode, it's got about 3 different modes, one is a regular one which shows you the video as it is, the second one is called the full color night mode. In this mode all the 4 LEDs turn on and give you guys a bright view even during night time. The LEDs are quite bright, you can easily see people's faces even in total darkness. And the final mode is called the intelligent night mode. So in this mode most of the time IR night vision is activated but when the camera detects any sort of motion it will immediately turn on all the LED lights and give you all a clear view of what's happening in that scene. That's a very useful feature. So those are all the different scene modes available on the camera. Along with that you've got video recording function, a shutter button to shoot pictures, a mic button to talk to the person in front of the camera, speaker on off and a video resolution toggle. Right now it's in 720p HD but you can even shoot videos in full HD 1080p. The video quality is definitely better in 1080p but as you can see we can observe some slight delay in the video transmission. If you want a live preview without much lag it's better to switch to 720p. And these are all of its camera settings. In the general settings you've got options like power on off, date and timestamp, firmware info and more. In the screen settings you can toggle 180 degree video rotation. So suppose if you fix the camera somewhere upside down then you can toggle this option to rotate the video 180 degrees. Quite useful feature. Along with that you've got sound settings which include options like microphone on off, voice prompts on off and also volume settings. In the light settings you've got the same scene mode options which I already told you earlier. And one more great thing is this camera also supports motion detection as well as alarm features. If you turn this on the camera will send alert messages to your phone whenever it detects any sort of motion in its view. Like if a person moves or anything changes in the video it will automatically send an alert message to your phone. Plus it even provides the option to adjust the motion detection sensitivity. So that's it guys, these are all the app details and the special features of the security cam. Now what I'll do is I'll show you some video sample shot on it. So by checking out them you'll get an idea on the video quality. Here are some sample video clips shot on the camera. The Digo W30 security camera has a 2 megapixel sensor with f2.26 mm lens and can shoot videos in 1080p full HD resolution. It's got a field of view of around 60 degrees and this is how the video looks like. I'd say the video quality was average, nothing special just like any other normal security camera. The video is sharp, there's good amount of detail and the text is also easily readable like the number plate on my bike. The colors were also ok but the dynamic range was very limited. So now let's check out a video clip with some motion. This camera comes with motion detection feature so whenever it sees some object or any person moving in the video it will automatically send an alert message to your phone. The video quality was decent, you can easily identify faces and recognize people but the frame rate was very less, it was only around 15 frames per second. And this is a video sample shot with the night vision mode activated. The night vision mode was very good. It has only 2 IR LEDs and offers a night vision range of up to 30 meters. Just check out this clip. The best part about the camera is it's also IP66 rated water resistant. So even if you fix it in outdoors nothing's going to happen to it even while raining. So that was my video on Digu's W30 jumbo looking security camera. It's almost 5 times bigger in size than a regular security cam. And I'm sure people will definitely get afraid just by looking at the size of this camera. I guess that is the main reason why the company made it this big. But coming to the actual performance, it's pretty much the same just like any other regular camera. The build quality is nice, love the design, I felt the video quality was average but the night vision mode was really good. And also the LED lights on it were quite bright. The only few things I felt were the video quality could have been better with the wider field of view and also the price could have been a bit lower. It cost around 4500 rupees and felt it was quite expensive for the kind of performance this camera was offering. So what do you guys think about the product? Do let me know in the comment section down below. 
Well, that was it for today. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.